Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today. I'm glad to give you an update from Giga Berlin today. We have new footage from Tobias Lind and they are showing something very exciting. Now we have been talking about colors for many, many weeks now. We talked about the white color, the black color and now the quicksilver that is now available already in Giga Berlin. But we have also mentioned not only the blue and red color, but we talked about as well about the white seats. Many people asked me about that and I wasn't sure if they actually gonna come next year or this year. And based on my information, I didn't get any more updates, but now we have updates. The white seats are already in production and this is looking very good. We're gonna go into details in a moment, but first looking into the regulatory credits. Why do I mention that? Because um, there were uh, a lot of people on Twitter um, trying to um, move Tesla into the direction that they only exist because regulatory credits exist and that currently there are also some people believing that Tesla is still only doing profits because of these credits. Well, that is pr just wrong. And this statistic here shows it one more time. Um, I mean, you as a viewer of a Tesla channel must be aware of that already. Just wanted to let you know, there's always again a way um, to play against Tesla. And in this case, it makes no sense at all. Tesla is doing profits by themselves without any help here when it comes to those credits. Now, another topic is as well the raw materials. And as we are talking about the increase of production, it is also very important to consider that Tesla needs a lot of materials and work in progress. And Tesla is having here um, some backlog of 71 days, which allows Tesla to react very easily towards certain crises that might occur, like, for example, in Shanghai. We don't know if in China the demonstration for democracy, uh, democracy and against the um, corona um, rules might uh, influence the production or deliveries to customers. Uh, we have to wait for that. Now we have here as well a statistic showing that raw materials especially increased in Q2 and Q3. This is also because of Austin and Giga Berlin. And then of course, service parts, very important, should be going much faster as many people are complaining about long wait times once they have a crash. Tesla needs in some areas of the world um, a lot of time um, to actually uh, um, yeah, deliver um, these parts to customers. Um, but again, I think Tesla um, might be working on that as well already. Now, looking into Giga Berlin, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, now we have here some proof. We have actually the Quicksilver on the right hand side on the top with white seats. And that is very exciting. So now we are in the situation in Giga Berlin. We not only have Model Y long range and Model Y performance, but we also have here um, the white seats. So we are still only missing um, the red color and the blue color. And based on my recent news and my recent information that I received, um, it doesn't look like that those two colors will come this year. I would, again, very well hope for it to happen, but it looks like that the red color will come in Q1 2023, um, but more like into the end of Q1. Now for the white seats, um, let me know if you ordered um, one with white seats, um, especially when it comes to the Model Y performance. As we know already from feedback out of the community here, the UK market is getting um, all cars from China. And for other European countries, um, we can expect the Model Y performance now being delivered as well with white seats. For the Model Y long range, I didn't spot one yet, but I do expect that to happen soon as well. Now this entire area here is a second loading area. Um, we also have the other area in front of the factory directly. Now what's also very interesting is that we have the ultrasonic sensors. Now we all expected Tesla is going to take everything away because they want to be more efficient and they can save cost. But now we have footages here showing that actually there is all these cables that are needed for the sensor and the sensor is just missing. Um, this just gets a bit of an impression that Tesla has some issues 
and a lack of sensors and decided, okay, we're just gonna cut the sensor away, but they are still having all the cables inside. And Tesla didn't um, specify if they're gonna um, put a sensor into your car later on. They all said it's gonna be a software update. So this might be just a move right now for a few cars having those cables and then the newest, newest cars might not have the cables anymore as Tesla is moving towards not having any sensors um, in that way as they did in the past. Now, let me know if you have found some cables in your um, car, if you received it recently. Um, I do know that lots of people had to actually um, accept the fact that they're now um, getting a car with Tesla Vision and not anymore with sensors. Um, but again, another part of people didn't have to do that and they have production dates later than the 16th of October. So it kind of um, get, creates a bit of a confusion here um, who actually gets one with sensors and without, but it looks like um, Tesla had to do a strategy change very quickly. Now for superchargers, we have a new milestone, 40,000 superchargers worldwide. These are, um, yeah, a lot of possibilities to charge your Tesla. Um, for some countries, it might be cheaper to go to other car makers or other um, providers like in Germany, but Tesla declined or decreased to be um, exact the prices in Germany recently. So um, I will be very, um, actually very interested into uh, three, four, five years into the future. If Tesla is really gonna play um, the role of making a premium price or if they want to attract a lot of people um, coming to superchargers. Well, when it comes to EVs, when will they be cheaper than fossil fuel vehicles in Europe? By 2025 to 2027, that is what Bloomberg says. I believe it can happen earlier than that, maybe even by 2024. Again, this is a study that is a bit confusing because it really depends on the car maker. And I think that Tesla can achieve it earlier on the other hand, other car maker, maker might need a bit more time. Um, so you cannot take the entire EV industry because it's very hard um, to understand what are the real cost of an EV for GM or for Ford or for Tesla or for VW. And of course, there are different price segments as well. So um, very complicated to indicate that, um, but I think Tesla is on the right track when it comes to reducing costs and I believe um, they will achieve that maybe already in 2024. Um, it's really depending on the new battery pack. Now, thank you very much for being here today again on this channel. Have a wonderful day.